A Greenville County winery is celebrating one year in their new building while also celebrating Valentine's Day. In tonight's Carolina Blends and Brews, Dan Bickford pays a visit to Cityscape Winery. We were bored one day and, and so we were like, well, let's go make some wine. It was just a random thing and we did what every good millennial does. We looked at YouTube and uh, we found that we needed to get some supplies. So we found this place in the middle of nowhere. It was called Cityscape Winery. In 2015, that, those previous owners um, you know, approached us about buying the winery and we initially said absolutely not. But after a lot of prayer, we felt like we were supposed to do it. On Dunklin Bridge Road in Pelzer, you'll find Cityscape Winery, a family-run winery that's seen serious expansion over the past year. The original tasting room was a small cottage. Now it's a one-year-old indoor and outdoor space. They also have new equipment. The tanks are 16 and a half feet tall. Each tank is going to hold roughly about 6,000 bottles of wine. These are primarily for the white varieties. Reds and other barrel-aged products sit in the barrel room until they're ready. So this, uh, this machine's our new bottling line here. It was custom made in Italy for us. Uh, this machine will do roughly uh, 2,500 bottles per hour. They make 22 varieties using grapes from their own vines and grapes grown at other vineyards. They carry basics like Pinot Grigio and Cabernet, as well as more creative offerings. This is our pineapple Riesling. Uh, this is one of our most popular white wines that we make here on the property. Uh, this one is a dry Riesling that we uh, actually do a co-fermentation with pineapple juice. They recently opened a kitchen that is whipping up chocolate for this weekend's Valentine's chocolate and wine pairing. This is one of our biggest events um, and it is reservation only so I highly recommend if there are any tickets left please 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 um, make your reservation today. If you can't secure reservations everyone still has access to food trucks and live music over the weekend. Cityscape also hosts community events. One helps women in local business. We created an event called Girls Night Out um, that, that has different vendors and we have a different theme every single month um, that showcase different vendors in our community. Cityscape is involved in various sustainability projects. They sanitize and reuse empty bottles of Cityscape wine. Just bring them back and receive $1 credit per bottle. The winery mascot, Pino the Pig, does his share providing some fertilizer for the vines. He'll be busy. More vines will be planted this year, keeping up with an increase in customers. I think the most rewarding part is getting to be a part of so many people's experiences. And what I love about Cityscape is that um, Cityscape is a place that people could truly come in, sit down, and feel like they could be themselves. Enjoy responsibly. Confident that's the, the first pig we featured in this segment. So far this year, the Department of Public Safety says there have been 68 traffic deaths in the state of North Carolina. Troopers working on reducing that. This is actually the next story. Uh, but they, they, they do say Cityscape is doing everything they can to promote safe uh, consumption.